Okay, play just another couple phrases. Shoulder 
is real important because this is really meant to kind of slide down and open because our balance is coming from the area go. You can see what he's doing now? Yeah. What do you see from people that are watching? The center of gravity is like perfectly aligning. Pop his head straight down to the right side of the And it may feel a, a little odd, a little too straight or something at first because it's so counter to what you know as your habit. I think a, a common habit is once you start getting into what you're doing or thinking, or yes. you tend to kind of like... Yes, we go forward yeah. because we start out that way. Ideally, yeah, ideally it would be nice to just... Yeah, we start out it. this way, and so our body has sort of, uh, when you get fatigued, when you're playing, you get this sort of like... Uh, when you sort of our original fetal position comes back. Uh, if you're sick, whatever. Uh, so you just use your awareness to say, well, if I think of my head moving away from my body, then my body starts to lengthen. I use my eyes, and I just tilt my head to look down at the keys. Now just play with this. to sit on a round stool or on a bench as far as like the how much your body's you know I don't think so the height is what makes the difference because okay. if you're at the right height then you have better balance but your legs basically help send up a force from your feet up through your pelvis which right. helps to balance you can play a little bit more yeah, I can notice now more strength more, uh, more solidity in your yeah, hands. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just the, come back yeah, this way. right out of your body into your plan. But the thing that's interesting, what feels really different initially, is that we're used to dropping our head forward into our activity. So we have a joint at the top that allows you to tilt your head down and to turn. And it's not that you have to feel stiff, because most of the movements we make are really spirals. So as you move your hands down the keyboard, we really do this. Right. You take your whole body with yeah. you, and you take your whole body. You're not going to sit straight and do this. Right. You're going to go with the motion of your hands. So just let that happen as you go. So you're going to lengthen up this way. Nice. That's
just a thousand different ways that you can <laughs> shift your weight. Shift your weight, right. Because this is when you're sitting on these points that you balance on. Right. You go all this, and none of this has to go down or scrunch or shorten because you've got all this balance that gives you all this flexibility to move in these various directions. Okay. Yeah. So just think about the fact that you're on something that rolls and rocks. Mm -hmm. Your sit bones. And then you can turn your torso. The idea is that as people in our society, we get kind of locked into kind of a two-dimensional way of moving, which is forward, backward, side to side. We don't move like that. If you're doing a sport, you're doing a lot of spiraling. Right. And so whatever, especially if it's an active full body sport, even in cycling, cycling is a little bit different. But you get kind of locked into a position. But just think of these movements. Yeah. And so you're going up. You're lengthening out. There you go. Now turn to the right. Yeah. And your head always leads in movement, and your body follows. Let your head lead and come to the left, and think about going up as you go to the left. So we think about big movements, too, but they're quite delicate movements. As your head goes up, you're going up this way. It's a thinking rather than a doing. Yeah. And then come this way. And think up rather than do up. And then you'll actually do it, but you'll do it more delicately. Now just play a last phrase with a sense of easiness. And just come all the way up on your sit bones. And you can go forward, but try not to go too far back. But if you don't hold something and you use it as movement, you can accept that sense of length and natural posture without thinking about it as a position or rigidity. It's not about rigidity. The, the old folks had it right on some level, but wrong in the sense that you had to hold it or stiffen up. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Thank you.